welcome to the 69th lecture of digital electronics in lecture number 68 we were dealing with how to generate a logic function using multiplexers in this lecture also we are continuing with the same so coming into the first question of this lecture implement first question implement the function f of a comma b comma c is equal to a b or b bar c using 4 by 1 now see here the function is having three variables okay. now if, if there are three variables there should be eight combinations That is 2 power 3 combination. That is, you, you should get 8 combinations. That means, for the normal realization, you should use 8 by 1 maths. But, the question is to realize the function which is realizable by 8 by 1 maths by a 4 by 1 maths. Okay. So, you have to take uh, divided by 2 concept. That means theta. That means divided by two means taking uh, taking two rows, two rows, two rows. That concept. Okay. Now let me draw the two table of the given function. So here I am taking um, for uh, okay. Here I am taking input as a b or b a b or b bar c, right? So I am writing inputs inputs as a b. And see, this is the output. Output is function f. And then 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, what is ab? Now, coming into ab or b bar c. Okay. So, in the first case, what do you get? That is a question, right? Okay, or uh, uh, first I will take this uh, not output here. I will take in a different track. So, this AB. What is AB? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 dot 0, 0, 1 dot 1 is 1, 1 dot 1 is 1. Next one is B bar C. What is b bar c? 1 dot 0. Oh, 1 dot 0. 0. 1 dot 1. 1. 0 dot 0. 0. 0 dot 1. 0. 1 dot 0. 0. 1 dot 1. 1. 0 dot 0. 0. 0 dot 1. 0 dot 1 is 0. Yeah. Now coming to the output. That is f. f is 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now, see, you, you need to realize it using 4 by 1 maths. That means for a 4 by 1 maths, for a 4 by 1 maths, you have only two selectors. Okay. So, I am choosing A and B as selectors. A and B. I am choosing A and B as selectors. And C as an input. And taking, taking two rows by two rows and two rows each. Two rows here, two rows here. Now, write f in terms of c. That is what we are going to get. So, if I am writing f in terms of c, here, zero one, zero one. So, what do you write? F is same as c. Here, what do we get? Here, both values of f are zero. So, here, f is equal to zero. Here, what happens? Zero one, zero one. So, f is equal to c. Here, both are of f is 1, so f is equal to 1. Okay. So, for the 4 by 1 maths, you can take this as d0, d1, t2, and t3. Selectors such as are a and b. So, if you are drawing the 4 by 1 maths, 4 by 1 maths, selectors such as are a and b. a and b are the selectors. Okay. So here, here you are having D0, D1, 
D2 and D3. For D0, you are having a, an input C. For D0, the input is C. For D1, the output is, the input is 0. For D3, the input is 1. For D2 also, the input is C. And you will get the output here. Okay. That is, when A is equal to B, A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, and C is equal to 0, what do you get? You will get the output as 0. Right? You will get D0. That means C is equal to C. That means, uh, what do you get? C is equal to 0. Again, when A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0, what happens? You will get F of C. That means, output is uh, output of C. That means, if it is 1, you will get 1. That is it. Okay. So, here it is, output F. Okay. This is how to realize that function using uh, using 4 by 1 marks. Now, uh, if you are explaining furthermore, if you are having, uh, yeah, if A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1, what do you get? If A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1, what is it? You will get D1. That means, F will be always, it will be 0. Whatever be the value of C, you will get the output as 0. Now, when A is equal to 1 and, uh, when A is equal to 1 and uh, B is equal to 0, what do you get? If C is 0 or 1. Whatever is C, you will get the output as uh, you will get the output of, output F as C. Okay. And again, if A and B is equal to one, then you will get the output as D3. That is all. Okay. So I think you got the concept concept of implementing uh, implementing uh, a given Boolean function using mask. So going into the next question. Going into the next question. Implement. Second question. Implement the following function using eight by one months. Okay. So the function is f is equal to a b bar or B D or B bar C A bar. So from this function you need to revert back to the min terms and match terms. Okay. So here I am going to write about min term. So what is F is equal to sigma M of dash. So you need to feed it. You need to fill this area. So there is an easy way. So I am going to draw the K map directly. So here we are having four variables. Okay. So here the number of variables is four. We are having A, B, C, and D. So there are sixteen inputs. Sixteen inputs means you should have sixteen by one mods. But the question is to realize that using an eight by one mods. So I'm going to draw a four by four K map. Okay. So A, B, C, D. Two, three. This is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Sorry, this is 1, I'm saying that is a mistake over there. This 1, 1, and 1, 0. This is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. So I'm having 0. Oh, this is 0, 1, yeah. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So this, this is A bar B bar, A bar B, A B, A B bar. This is C bar D bar, C bar D, C D. C, D bar. So, where are you, you will get one? That is the question. First one is A, B bar. So, A is there. Where, where are A, B bar? That means you will get the last row. One, 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 one. A, B bar, last row is there. So, A, B bar is fixed. And next is B, D. B is in these two rows and D is, so you will get B, D. That is this. Yeah. So, B and D. So, you will get this one, right? 
B is there as well as D is there. Okay. Now B bar phi D bar. B bar is in the first hand adapter B bar phi D bar. B bar phi D bar. That means, uh, yeah. You get B bar. This is B bar C D bar as well as B, B bar C D bar. So you get first and last terms. So you can write F is equal to the sigma m. F is equal to sigma m two five seven two five seven two five seven. Then what? Uh, eight nine ten eleven two five seven eight nine ten eleven. Then comes thirteen and fifteen. 13 and 15. This is a way to convert it into min term form. Okay. So I have directly converted it into min term form. Okay. That means I have, ta I, have ta I have taken the corresponding numbers. That is it. Okay. Now you can draw the um, now you can draw the two tables directly. So the question is to realize it using a 8 by 1 match. So you are since, since you are having 16 inputs. Okay. Uh, for 8 by 1 match you should have for uh, three selectors and uh, for uh, 16 by 1 mass you should have uh, four selectors so here you are for for converting it into three selectors you are you are choosing one se one selector as input in 8 by 1 mass that is from uh, 16 by 1 mass so drawing the two table I am having one input. Okay. Uh, I am having S2, S1, and S0. These three are selectors. I am having output. Uh, output is F. Okay. So you can write up to 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so you can take take the decimal equivalence of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so you should have what 2 5 7 8 9 that is 2 5 Seven, eight, nine, two, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. Ten, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. All others are zero. Zero here, zero, 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 zero. Now, since he, here you are having fifteen rows, but you, but you need to realize it using eight by one mass. So, so you should, so you should take two rows, two rows by two rows. Should take two row, two row concept. So, I am taking the first two rows. Yeah, I am dividing it into uh, two rows each. Second two rows. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 in 1, 12, 13, and 14, 15. Oh, yeah. So here, now I can write F in terms of something else. So here, what, I, what is F? F is equal to 0. Here, what is there? Depending on input. So this is say uh, input X. So you can write F is equal to, you can write F is equal to 0, 1. 1, 0. So here, F is equal to X bar. Here, F is equal to X. Both are same. So you can write F is equal to X. So here again f is equal to x. Here, here both are one. So you can write f is equal to one. Here f is equal to one. Here again f is equal to x. Here again f is equal to x. 
okay so if you are drawing it either with the so this will become d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 so if you are realizing it using an 8 by 1 mask it will be like this you are having an 8 by 1 mask selectors are s2 s1 and s0 these are the selectors here we have the inputs as d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 and the output this is the output what we have is f ok now for d0 uh, for only d0 the value is 0 right now we are having another input x and you can have x bar now our uh, not gate it is not required you can have x and x bar ok now s is given to which other things that is the question now s is given to d2 d3 d6 and d7 d2 d3 d6 and d7 x bar is given to d1 only s bar is given to d1 only that is s bar now for d4 and d5 the value is 1 and this one is what d4 and d5 ok so this is how we are realizing um, uh, uh, an expression which is having 4 variables using 8 by 1 mark ok so uh, coming to the last question of this structure I mean the third question implement 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 the following the uh, implement the function x is equal to a x or b x or c using 8 by 1 So, if you are drawing the truth table, A, H or B, H or C, that is it. So, you are having what? So, you are having only three variables. Three variables means you are having two raised to three inputs. That means eight inputs. So, eight inputs, eight by one much, which means we should have only three selectors. Should have only three selectors. Okay. So, you can, you can draw the um, truth table directly. Selectors are A, B, C and the output is F. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, what is F? That is the question. Okay. Uh, 0, 0, 0. So that's where 0 is 0 and that is 0 means you will get yeah it is 0 you know what this is 0 now 0 is 0 is 0 0 is 1 is 1 0 is 1 is 1 1 is 0 is 1 0 is 1 0 is 1 is 1 1 is 1 is 0 1 is 0 1 is 0 is 1 and 1 is 0 is 1 1 is 0 is 1 1 is 1 is 0 1 h 1 is 0 and 0 h 0 is 0 1 h 1 is 0 yeah. 1 h 1 is 0 and 0 h 1 is 1 so we get 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 ok so that is it so you can have this is d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 so you can implement it that way, right? So here we are having an 8 by 1 mass with inputs as D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7. Okay. So which one are 0? D0 is 0, D3 is 0, D5 is 0 and D6 is 0. So again 0 to D0 then d3 
D3, then D5, and D6. Now, I need to give 1. 1 to each of things. 1 should be given to D1, D2, then D4, then D7. Okay. And the output is F. This is the output. And you have factor switches. Factor switches are A, B, and C. These are the three selectors. Okay. So I think you have got the concept how to um, how to realize a given Boolean expression using multiplexer. Okay. So in this lecture, what you have dealt is uh, first expression uh, is A, B, or B bar C. That means it is basically three variable expression. Three variable expression means it is two raised to three. Should have eight combinations. So actually you should realize it with the help of an eight by one math, but the question is to realize it using a four by one math. So you should have the divided by two concept. The divided by two concept means taking two line, two line, two line each. Again we have done it. And uh, taking two two line, two line, two line, you will get D0, D1, D2, and D3. And uh, D0 is and I uh, and here we have to take one of the inputs as what? See here, what you can take is you should take one of the inputs, one of the uh, selective values as C in 8 by 1 marks. Yeah. There you will get 4 by 1 marks. Okay. Now coming into next example. Next example means you, you are given uh, you are given an expression. You are given a you are given a reduced expression. Okay. So if you are given a reduced expression, how to how to bring bring back it into min terms? And then realize that term. That is the question. Okay. So here uh, I have drawn the K map, and from the K map I have realized that sigma m, sigma m is or uh, the mean time expression comes in sigma m two five seven right in the ascending order two five seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen and fifteen. That means it is basically a sixteen input. Sixteen input. Sixteen by one input means uh, you should have four selectors. But the question is you realize it, it using an 8 by 1 match. So, so again you have to go for divided by 2 concept. Okay. So taking the divided by 2 concept means you should take the la last selector input. The last selector input of 16 by 1 match you should be uh, that should be the input of 8 by 1, one of the inputs of 8 by 1 match. Okay. And the rest of three should remain as selectors itself. Okay. So I think you got the point. And the next question also it is a very dark question. And f is equal to h or b h or c, and here nothing is asked. Okay, if the question is realize the same thing using four by one maths, then again you have to go for this uh, clubbing the, the divided by two concept. Okay, so with that, um, I am ending with the le lectures on multiplexers, and in the next lecture, that is in lecture number seventy, we will start with demultiplexers. Okay, we will start with demultiplexers and some applications of Demultiplexers. How to design a de how to design the logic circuit of a DMUX. Okay, so DMUX means uh, basically to have an introduction to DMUX. It is basically the reverse operation of multiplexer. So multiplexer means you you are channelizing one uh, one data to one line. Whereas uh, here what you do is data is one, but you have to channelize it to the uh, eight line. So if it, is, it becomes one by eight, or uh, fifteen by eight, or one by fifteen. Like that. Here it is 8 by 1. 8 by 1 means 8 data are there. You are, you are streamlining it into one data. Or you, or you are selecting one data. But here what happens in, in DMX, what happens is that that one data contains all, all these 8 lines or all these 16 lines. So you, so you need to, you need to, uh, you, or you, um, you need to unmand it. Okay. You need to unmand it or uh, untie it. Untie the data. Okay. So that is the function of DMX. So that we will uh, we will start in uh, that we will start in the next lecture. Okay. So it is a uh, very short area in which we are going to discuss in this module. Thank you.